Lord forgive me for this trap shit Sergeant Smack make it backflip Telly hanged it with the action With the vato speaking Spanish Frank Matthews how I vanish Poof. Came back like I'm King Tut Go BBS is on a beamer When Fat Cat was tearing queens up Fall off the profit not the re Fly like Puerto Rican Jesus Uptown like I'm Baby Man Just caught a touchdown from the Bay it's sad. It's, you know, it's, it, this is Bogalusa. It's a small community. Police Chief I've Kendall Bullen says all while all on the scene, there was a second shooting just minutes away. An SUV was shot up near the intersection of Marshall Richardson and Ott Roads. Ray McGowan's home was shot several times in the process. I was watching TV, so did I hear about seven, eight shots? So did I just dove on the floor? Later in the night, a third shooting near Our Lady of the Angels Hospital, where Bullen says a house was shot up. No one was hurt. Bolton says all three are connected and part of a larger violent uh, plot. The family of the victim, Devorius Scott, known as Jay the Young, and they say that he was standing outside of his home on Superior Avenue when someone opened fire, killing the rap artist. WDSU News reporter Shay O'Connor spoke to Scott's grandfather, and he says he wants justice. It's a story you'll see only on Six. There will be no stone left unturned until we found out who took him. L.C. Jefferson says he's devastated at the news that his grandson, 24-year-old Javarius Scott, also known as Jada Youngett, was murdered Wednesday night in his hometown of Bugaloosa. This is only what I hear. Someone came up from behind the house, you know, and with a ski mask on and gunned him down in broad open daylight on a public road, a, a road that's a busy road. So people have gotten so bold of doing things today because they know or they feel like they won't be caught. The rapper, well known on social media for his song, 23 Island. That song now has more than 17 million streams on Spotify. To his grandfather, he was just a kid trying to make it in music. I remember when he first started his music. I remember him sitting out here two, three o'clock in the morning, him and his cousin writing music. It's sad that at his young age, just when he was really getting things right the way that they should be, that he had to be taken away. The family confirmed Scott's dad, Kenyatta Scott, was also shot. Police say he's expected to be okay. The news quickly spread. Followers showing love online for the slain rapper. Police say they want to find the person responsible and say there's already been a number of shootings in the area since the rapper was killed. And a few minutes later, why my officers are investigating this this scene we, we had a call of another shooting across town later in the night a few hours later we just had a third shooting uh, where a house was shot up that we also believe to be related police say no one was hurt during the other two shootings a few suspects have been identified but no motive or suspect yet in the case of jada youngin 
Family members say they hope the community will pull through for them and help to solve the case. In the meantime, Jefferson says he finds solace in the legacy his grandson leaves behind. Looking at him and looking at the way he made his music and looking at where he come from, you know, it gives other people hope. And his music gave them hope, you know, but it's gone now. Shay O'Connor, WDSH. Yo, yo, we back. It's your ace pop a lot. Mob, mob, mob. We on our way to Louisiana with it. Bogalusa to be exact. Now, if I got any guys in Bogalusa, I definitely need y'all in the comment box. Y'all on some gangster shit around here, and I ain't even know about it. Now, today, we are going to be covering a guy by the name of FG Famous. But we really can't talk about FG Famous without talking about the late Jada Youngin. Now, first and foremost, I want to say R.I.P. to Jada Youngin. So, for those not familiar with Jada Youngin, he was an up-and-coming rapper from Bogalusa, Louisiana, who was sitting on a porch with his father on July 27, 2022, where according to his father, whose name is Kenyatta Scott, he would say a black truck pulled up to the front of the house and three armed people would end up jumping out of that truck. He would say him and his son would attempt to run inside of the house. It's going to be at this point where he's going to say that two more gunmen would emerge from the side of the house, opening fire on him and his son, eventually hitting his son eight times. Now, his father, who was also armed at the time of the shooting, would attempt to return fire and would end up being shot two times in the arm. Now, ultimately, Jada Youngin would succumb to his injuries, but luckily his father would survive after being taken to the hospital. But this is where it's going to get a little complicated and also where FG Famous comes into play. Now, FG Famous is going to be a very close associate of Jada Youngin and some media outlets went as far as calling him his best friend. Now, after the death of Jada Youngin, this is going to be where, according to authorities, FG Famous did exactly what a lot of the rappers rap about doing. He did exactly what fans comment that the rappers should do under their pictures, and that would be slide. Now, according to No Jumper, FG Famous would end up being arrested in New Orleans, Louisiana, trying to purchase clothing for Jada Youngin's funeral. Now, authorities would allege that he was involved in a series of retaliatory shootings directly after the murder of Jada Youngin. Now, not sure if anybody was injured or the magnitude of those shootings, but I did see where the police chief mentioned that these shootings, as well as Jada Youngin's death, are part of a bigger problem that they're facing in Bogalusa, Louisiana. I also took my time to do my research on FG Famous, and I immediately saw the history between him and Jada Youngin as he was featured on one of Jada Youngin's songs called Stick Up way back in 2016. He would continue to grind and make a name for himself. And after Jada Youngin's death, he would go on to release a tribute song titled In the Name of 23 that y'all can go ahead and check out on YouTube. I want to say currently it was like number 27 as far as top YouTube videos at right around 2 million views. Definitely, definitely a real touchy song. And me personally, I can hear the emotion in it. So, so it would be good if he can take off where Jada Youngin left off. Now, as far as suspects in the Jada Youngin murder case, information seems to be coming out very, very slowly. I saw where Jada Youngin's dad said that he think his death was a result of his son's success. He would go on to say that he doubt it had anything to do with gang involvement, going on to say that he doesn't think that his son knew the shooters. Now, according to TMZ, they're going to say that the police suspected to be one shooter. But like I said, information is coming out very, very slowly. We're going to definitely keep our eyes tuned to this situation as well as FG Famous along with the murder of J.D. Youngin. Now, with his death, it definitely prompts me to ask, is rap the most dangerous profession? And if it isn't, name me another one. Now, 
we lost Dolph, we lost Mo3, we lost Slim 400, we lost Draco the Ruler. Now, a lot of people are going to say, well, these are not particularly involving rap situations. But are we so sure of that? Now, y'all make sure y'all follow me on Instagram, on Twitter, P-O-P underscore A underscore L-O-T. Y'all hit the red subscribe right under this video so y'all know when this real trill spill shit is dropping. Y'all get in the comment box. Let me know what cities we need to go to, what stories we missed, what gangsters we haven't covered, what we got wrong, and all of that. Again, I want to take this time to say R.P. to J.D. Youngin. If y'all rocked with him or rocked with his music... Y'all put y'all favorite song in the comment box. Y'all drop them birds in the comment box. And y'all get at me however y'all see fit. Y'all tweet me, text me, call me, tag me, mention me, CC me, email me. All of that shit. It's your boy Pop-A-Lot. Mob, mob, mob.